Hey, how's it going? I'm Ina Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, I still have no idea what I'm going to talk about this week. Um, I did ask the cute friend for some ideas. And I have ideas, but I still have no idea what I want to talk about this week. It's one of those weeks, really. Um, been a lot of these weeks, like one of those weeks where I'm like, what do I talk about? What is there to talk about? Um, I think some of that is down to this like never ending pandemic situation. I mean, yeah, okay, there is definitely going to be like an end to it sooner rather than later. Fingers crossed if, you know, the government plans go the way that it's supposed to go. But according to how things are at the moment, I'm getting another birthday in lockdown. Oh, and it's like so, it's so annoying as well. Because just like every year, I have, my, I have time booked off for my birthday and it's always usually between um, seven and nine days depending on... Um, what I feel like taking and I believe this time I went for just the, the week the seven days just because of like how it worked out and like when my birthday is in the week and and stuff like that because I like to have like a couple of days before and then some days after um but the way it's working out is that um traveling outside of your local area is fingers crossed going to start again from the 29th of March, which is my last day off. So any hope that I had of going to visit a cute friend for my birthday is now no more. It's not going to happen. Not for my birthday at least. And it's just like, oh, really? And um, this is this is obviously this is now afterwards. Really, like this is like the end of February that I'm filming this. Um, so obviously the announcement was last week, and I knew when it was. So like the first thing I did the following morning was I went online and and looked to try to you know figure out when traveling would be allowed specifically. Um, because I'm not in a bubble. So theoretically, I could have met them, provided the situation um, allowed me to travel. Um, I mean, obviously, we have would have had to have been a lot stricter with, you know, how we interacted with each other, depending on um, what rules were in place, both UK and Wales, because they they well, UK uh, England and Wales, because they they are based in Wales. Um, but no. No, the being able to travel outside of your local area it should be from the 29th and that is as I said like the last of my days off and I'm just because uh, like uh, it's, it's another birthday on my own oh, another birthday on my own and it is, it is technically going to be very much like it was last year um I might get lucky, I might see my dad for all the five minutes if, if it comes to drop stuff off, um, like, 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 like at Christmas time, like my, my birthday last year, like dad just came and dropped stuff off and then, and then went, I mean, yeah, that's probably what it's going to be because it's not like he can come in, it's not like we can go anywhere, um, so I will probably see my dad for all of about five minutes because that's probably cheaper than posting me. Because <laughs> uh, I believe where they live still counts as Plymouth, um, even though it's kind of like, it's like out of, it's like even for like, it's, it's got a Plymouth postcode. <laughs> but it's on the moor. So, um, Anyone who knows like the the Dartmoor Plymouth situation will kind of get that it's this Plymouth, but it's not Plymouth. It's very outskirty, um, and I, I wouldn't like 
Their village isn't necessarily remote, remote, but it is kind of halfway between here and Tavistock. Like roughly halfway between here and Tavistock, depending on like. Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't map. <laughs> um, but I do know that my mums are definitely outside of my local area. They are in Pintoon, so again, I'm not going to be seeing them. Um, in or around my birthday, that's very much like like last year. I didn't get to see them in or around my birthday, so yeah, it's very much uh, like all I all I really needed would have been for um, for the travel restrictions to just maybe be like a day before that, um, and I might have been able to maybe not necessarily. I mean. It would have been tight for, for doing a trip to Wales if I only had like the two days. Um, but I'd have at least been able to maybe see my mum. I mean, yeah, I will still have that day off, so maybe my mum might be able to travel down. But that will depend on when she and her partner have had their injections because um, her partner is in one of the high risk groups, which is why we've been shielding, which is why I've barely seen them in the last year. It's so long. It's so long at this point. Um, so yeah, that that's going to be my March. <laughs> I'm not even in March yet. And it's like, yeah, that, that's, that's going to be my March. I've got my week off to look forward to, but it's very much going to be all on my own again, like it was last year um i mean i should be able to like meet people outside and i'm not technically bubbled with anybody so i might try to convince some of my friends if they're not bubbled with anybody to like i mean it would have to be like one at a time because i know it's it's like i think you can only, you'll only be allowed to meet like one person but at least i'll have seen someone so i might do that i might try to convince my friends to come to uh, uh, uh. <laughs> there are words there somewhere like seriously um but yeah no it is very much I, I guess it's very much what I'm kind of thinking about at the moment which is yeah the restrictions are going to start easing back um and I know it's going to be April before I can get my hair cut again. So I guess hopefully it doesn't grow like too, too much in that time. Um, in a month, it shouldn't make too much of a difference considering, you know, this is how much it's grown since December. So not too, too worried, but I would still like it to be tidied up. <laughs> so um, looking forward to April. Fingers crossed if everything goes to plan, April hairdressers will open again and I'll be able to get my hair cut um it is really all dependent on like how things kind of go from here in terms of whether or not they I, I don't know whatever it is they're, they're they're sort of looking for and obviously the key one is making sure that um uh cases don't start rising uh, at a ridiculous level again uh because obviously you know that's then going to hinder everything like even if they are rolling out the vaccinations they need to make sure like the situation is under control or else there's kind of no point in like relaxing the restrictions um but fingers crossed hopefully april hairdressers at, at least that's something i can look forward to <laughs> And hopefully, you know, if um, if my mums have managed to have their injections by that point, or even if it's just uh, my mum's partner who's managed to have her injections by that point, at least, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I will be able to see my mum again, which would be nice. Like, even if it's, you know, we have to go and meet outside on one of the park benches right outside my window, or... On the hoe even like that would be really nice it's like um back in the last flat uh, that i rented where i was living before i'm living here um i'd quite often meet my mum out on the hoe and we'd quite often eat out on the hoe especially when the, the weather was quite nice and it was because the flat really wasn't big enough to entertain people um 
I mean, this place is big enough to entertain people. But if we can't meet indoors, then, you know, yeah, it'd be really nice to, like, have some picnics with her up on the hoe, I think. You know, fingers crossed that um, the thing that things, you know, pan out well enough for her to be able to travel. That, that's something I'm kind of looking forward to now. And then everything else is kind of like, but let's see how the year goes. Um, hopefully... If the travel restrictions like ease and then and things ease a bit more, um, me and a cute friend can meet sometime before <laughs> for July. Um, that would be good. Just like sometime before July, like after, like you know, fingers crossed, everything goes the way that the government are currently hoping. Restrictions should sort of go back to normal. Oh, life should sort of go start going back to normal uh, in the second half of this year, but it would be really nice to meet the cute friend before that point. <laughs> I'd like to meet them before that point. <laughs> um, but, it, you know, it, it, the situation is what it is right now. Um, all we can really do is work with the circumstances that we've got and hopefully look forward to certain things um, try to maybe organise other things if, you know, if, it's, if at all possible. It's just, uh, it's just a situation I'm in at the moment. It's like part of the hassle of living on your own. Not that living on your own is a hassle normally, but in a situation like this, when you're kind of, you're living on your own and like the people that you would like to be seeing are in circumstances where, you know, they can't really see you right now because of like because of the restrictions that are in place or because they are you know bubbled with more vulnerable people than you which is understandable um yeah it's just it's just very much like that at the moment so yeah i i guess that is my thoughts on the current situation um my hopes for the future um with you know how things are at the moment. Um, well, I'm reasonably happy for this for a vlog. <laughs> for a vlog, <laughs> um, it's not necessarily the, like the most interesting topic, especially at like this point for people when things, when you know, when the situation has been going on for quite a while. But it's not something I talk about too often on here because, like I said before, I like to be positive and to. Uh, project kind of positive energy when I'm sort of doing these so I try not to sort of like focus on like all the negative stuff that's going on at the moment I mean occasionally I do because occasionally I have to for various reasons but it's like for the most part I'm I'm hoping that I've been like fairly positive in what I've like projected and you know, like not focusing too much on all of like the, the bad stuff and trying to like focus on the more positive stuff and I'm hoping like for the most part in this, I'm, I've been, like, focusing more on, like, the positive stuff in, like, well, if this happens when it's supposed to happen, then I should be able to do this again, and I'm really looking forward to that, and I'm hoping that's kind of the energy that I've given off, but I'm also at the point where I'm facing another birthday on my own, so <laughs> if I've not been 100% positive, I think I'm around, just, just maybe around. All right, okay, so I hope you guys have found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to finding out whatever I'm going to be talking about next time. I certainly have no clue as to what it's going to be at this point in time, because I don't plan. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.